There we are guys, peace pudding made full of goodness. Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're going to make an absolute classic from my past. Now I did my schooling in the northeast of England and we used to have peace pudding every week. So I'm going to show you how to make peace pudding from scratch. We're going to boil up a ham hock. We're going to use a ham water to actually make the peace pudding. Now this is a really simple recipe to make. You know, it's just a case of boiling the pork leg and then making some peas pudding. It's simple. So let's show you how to do it. Okay guys, this is a really easy recipe, like I say. You know, I've got a pork leg here, look. And all we're going to do is put that in our pan. Now you have to have a big enough pan to cover it in water. And if you want to put a lid on, that's up to you. But that's our meat in our pan. Okay, all we're going to do to that is just add water. We're just going to cover it. Now it will take quite a lot of water because this ham or this leg hock is two and a half kilos. But don't forget that's two and a half kilos bone in. This has a bone in. Now we're not bothered about the bone because what we'll do, we'll pull it out. <laughs> So I think that's enough water. Now what we want to do is chuck in some bay leaves. We want to chuck in some dry thyme. You know, this is more like a traditional English, if you like, and thyme was everywhere. Now we want a bit of smashed garlic just to add a different flavor. Now it's not gonna flavor all the meat through, but that's some smashed garlic. So we'll just put that in. And then what we're going to do we're going to run a knife just through an onion. All we're going to do is chop it up and just chuck it in. Now, it doesn't have to be so precise, not at all. So we've got a couple of onions here. So basically, we're just going to make a bit of a stock by boiling this ham joint. And then we want to be going in with some salt. Just don't forget this is not salty so a good pinch of salt now you can put peppercorns in this is a cracked pepper actually I'm going to put a good tablespoon in there and then all we're going to do is turn on the flame bring it up to the boil stick a lid on it and boil it for about two and a half hours and then what we're going to do, we're going to strain the water, but we're going to use the water to cook our peas, to make our peas pudding. Now, many people put a bit of flavouring around the ham and they chuck the peas in with the, with the pork. But I want that flavour in the fluid, um, with all the juices out of the pork and all that fattiness that's going to come into the pork to flavour it all. And we're going to use that strained in our peas pudding. It would be fantastic. Okay, so all we need to do is wait for this to come up to the boil and cook it for two and a half hours. So let's stick a lid on and bring it up to the boil. So all we need to be doing is just straining off our pork juices and our water, our stock. And this is what we're going to use to cook our peas, our split peas. Now you don't have to be super critical about getting all this out, there's more than enough in there. Right, split peas guys, you know, split peas, very easy to find in the UK and probably other countries around the world but out here in Asia not okay so there's our split peas is 500 grams in our pan okay what we need to be doing is taking a chicken scut stock cube and we're going to give it a bit of a crumbling in there and just chuck it in with our peas now you could put it in 
with the fluid cook it slightly in there so it disintegrates and makes a chicken stock and then put the peas in but it doesn't really matter really and then we want to add a litre and a half of our pork spice mixture so we give that a little stir around and then all we're going to do is turn on the flame and bring this up to a boil now we're going to boil this for about 45 minutes now what we're going to do we're going to keep giving it a little stir every 10 minutes just so it doesn't stick on the bottom and when the peas swell up and everything you know they're going to take on everything okay it's up to the boil all we need to do now is give it a little stir around now you can be super critical you know and you can skim off this if you want it's not required really but you can it's up to you so about every 10 minutes we'll give it a stir okay what I like to do about this stage when it's starting to come together like this this is about ready to actually blitz with a blitzer what I like to do guys is give it a little taste test now we need to be tasting this this is the time when this has to be finished with seasoning and what I'm going to do I'm going to add just a little bit more salt a little pinch of salt in there give that a stir through and then we'll just give it five minutes and we'll give it another taste test and I think that'll be absolutely bang on okay five minutes let's have a look in here now that's what we're talking let's give that a little taste test that'll do and then what we want to do we want to go in with our butter so we'll get our butter in there just give the butter a, a stir in there and we're going to give it a blitz with the old blitzer so this is going to give us that really nice buttery pea flavour again guys use salt, salted butter or unsalted butter up to you obviously tailor your salt to suit for your salted butter if you're using salted butter try and say all that again so i.e. don't put too much salt in if you're using salted butter so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn that off and we're going to give this a bit of a blitz in okay now that's about good enough for me I like texturing my uh, peas pudding you know I like a, a few of those peas in there I want it to look like something you know I don't want it to just look like a load of mush so that is our peas pudding made how fantastic does that look just look at that that is fantastic fantastic peas pudding guys just look at that taste test oh man peas pudding made right guys all we got to do now is put it in some tubs to cool down okay what we need to do we need to actually put our peas pudding 
in some tubs to cool down and put it in the fridge let it set up and then we can cut off a slice now I'm using these plastic tubs guys you know and I think these are 650s now normally I'd use 500 but I've run out so I'm using these 650s so all we're going to do oh is dub our peas in there our peas pudding now I'm going to try and do two full and we get some good slices coming out when it's cold so there we are guys that's our peas pudding okay now all I'm going to do is going to bob a couple of lids on now what you could do you could actually butter up some greaseproof paper and lay it on there but I've got these lids so we're just going to close it over close over that lid on lid on now it's going to stop it from having a, a hard skin over the top but you know I don't really mind the hard skin to be fair so all we're going to do now we're going to let this cool down and then we're going to stick it in the fridge you can't put it in the fridge like this because it's too hot it'll heat all the fridge up so let it cool down and then we'll stick it in the fridge and then we'll give it a try oh just look at that folks that is our pork leg fantastic now this stuff should just fall off should just fall off there look look at that oh 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 now i have got two dogs that absolutely love this so that's what they're getting okay and what we want to do is we want to take this meat from here and put it on this board so let's take that off there so there we are we've got our meat there that we're going to use with our peas pudding and we're going to give the dogs this we're going to feed up those dogs eh superb let's pinch a bit of meat mmm that that is absolutely delicious actually see it's a very underrated cut of meat actually you know the hog the leg but cooked long enough it's delicious it really is superb now peas pudding is normally served up cold just with straightforward bread and butter but I like toast with mine as well as bread and butter so I like it two ways I love the bread and butter and I love toast there we are guys peas pudding made full of goodness mm. amazing guys now modern day peas pudding is actually cooked with cured meat so you get your pink ham whatever this is traditional this is straightforward pork off the leg with the peas pudding now like I say peas pudding is normally served up cold and if you know the rhyme peas pudding hot peas pudding cold peas pudding nine days old you know it lasts for ages in the fridge and it's one of those filling additions to a meal or just on toast it's fantastic it really is good mm. it's one of those traditions that's going to be around forever however what's happening now in the northeast of england peas pudding is not made everywhere like it used to be so it's the mums and the people who have made it for years are carrying on the tradition mm -hmm. it's absolutely superb now guys if you like what we're doing don't forget smash that like and subscribe share with your friends all that kind of stuff catch you in the next video